Hey guys, it's Courtney and Seth here today, and today we are back in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. We are going to be visiting the island in Pigeon Forge, which is home to the Old Smoky Moonshine Barn location. We are going to be doing a moonshine tasting and giving you guys a full tour of the facilities. So if you'd like to join us, let's go. So this old Smoky Moonshine location is called The Barn and is located inside the island in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. We have also visited the holler, which is located in Gatlinburg, but each tasting experience can be different, including the personality of the bartender and the moonshine that you taste. So we're going to head in and see what they got for us today. So like the location in Gatlinburg, at times they do have music here on this stage, just right outside of the entrance. So if you are looking to just relax, enjoy some sights and sounds of the island, this is a great place to do so. So these deals here are pretty consistent. For example, they usually have a um, deal if you buy a certain amount of jars, you get either a goodie bag with it, maybe a free jar or something like that. But here are the deals they're running today. So now let's head inside and get in line for a moonshine tasting. So if you want to do a tasting, just walk right up to the bar. Just get the attention of one of the um, crew members here and make sure that you do have your ID because they do require that for anyone to do a tasting. And it is $5. So the tasting is $5, but you get a $5 off coupon since there is me and Seth. We have two $5 coupons and we can combine these on one transaction. We're going to start out something to heat you up. Blue flame, 128 proof. Mm -hmm. Now this thing can start a car fight and a family all one day. Yep. Kills COVID and STDs. <laughs> <laughs> actually, this one takes it out. Yeah, <laughs> that's actually got deemed a sanitizer and yep. paint thinner. Yeah, nice. <laughs> you just drank it. Yep. Now the next one is our blackberry. 40 proof, mm -hmm. kind of like Mrs. Wine and Mr. Moonshine had a baby. Produce a wine and moonshine. The more you drink, the more you start whining. Nice. That's why my wife ain't allowed to have it. <laughs> gotta keep her away from it. Now the next one is actually brand new. Yeah. Actually, we got one that just came out today. Cream sickle. Oh. Yeah. Today's the first day we ever had. Wow. But this wow. one came out like four weeks ago. Summer blueberry, 40 per. Funny thing is, you get no blueberry. Mm. It literally tastes like grape Gatorade. Okay. It's super good, but ain't no blueberry in it. So I guess in the south, when you put the word summer in front of the first time I drink moonshine up here is my wife brought me a thing of our pineapples. Yep. And I didn't know. I just sat there and I ate the whole jar in like an hour watching TV. Then my dog jumped out, jumped up, so I knew he had to go to the bathroom. So I jumped up. Stood up. And I flipped over the thing, flipped it. My dog's like this big. You should have seen. Oh my gosh. Now the next one is our sour raspberry. 40 proof. Kind of like a sweet tart. Real sweet at the beginning and sour at the end. Just like my wife is. <laughs> now the next one is our lemon tea shot. Kind of like a Alma Palmer. Have you ever had one of them? Mm -hmm. Or a Twisted Tea. But if you had a Percocet, you get a Tiger Woods. Is it real? Is it real tea like? They got a tea taste yet. I, I'm gonna skip this. Not, I'm not, little, it's okay, I'll good. do a little. I'm just not a fan of tea. I'm just let, so you can say you try I'm it. I'm gonna Seth try it first. It's actually more lemony than tea. Wow. Is it good? And it's smooth. Well, let me try it. You try the, but We normally don't get this until December. I mean, we get it in November and December. And they messed up and sent it to us. Oh. This is our Buckeye 40 proof. And kind of like a Reese peanut butter cup. Ooh. Or like a, a Tootsie Roll. Super good. Now the next one is our Armoretta Whiskey. Switching it up. Yep. Kind of like a nutty cherry flavor. Mm -hmm. So every man should love it. You get a nut and a cherry at the same time. <laughs> Plus, <laughs> wow. Plus, look at this. Pours itself. Hand free oh, body shot. Oh, beautiful. You can get your spouse all hot and sticky and you ain't even got to touch the bottle. <laughs> Plus, the good thing is when you get down to half a bottle, it cuts you off. It says you're sticky enough. Ah. Uh. Now, everything is $27 mm -hmm. except food. 
Pineapple cherries and pickles are 30. Of course, blue flame is 37. The gas prices are up. Yep, yep. And you know my wife loves the pickles too. She says it's the best five inches she's ever had. Oh. She feels a little frisky, I give her two. Oh, <laughs> now, nice. If you buy five jars, six jars on me, and my name's Toby. Toby. So you pay for five, but you'll get six of them. Plus, you get a free cooler to put it all in. And we'll give you a four pack of cocktails just to get you kickstarted. Mm. So for the price of five, you get free, free, and free. And you can mix and match it any way you want. Mm -hmm. Whiskey, food, but we work on tipsy commissions. So mm. If you buy that, I get a little bit on my paycheck too. Nice. So you guys but, ask for Toby when you visit. But this is for the true alcoholic. Uh-huh, uh -huh. yeah. You buy 10 of them, they give you two jars for free, total of 12. You'll get two of these for free, and then you get wheels. Woo! Hold back and handle. Plus, you can use this for, as a built-in AAC. Mm. Plus, mm -hmm. look at this. Nobody's ever got pulled over in this redneck Uber. It's about eight miles to a gallon. Now, the next ones are cream of course. That means they do have dairy in them. Yep. So, if you're lactose, you just got to suck it up for two rounds. Bathroom in that curl corner, and the world's largest per day's out there. <laughs> and I actually counted it. It holds 50 asses, so we're good. Ah. Nice. This is our Sun Beach. Mm -hmm. Say that real fast, and then you know what my wife calls me. Uh-huh. <laughs> kind of tastes like a pina colada or Kahlua. I don't like coconut, so it's hard to sell this one. My wife loves it, though. This is our orange cream sickle. Just yes. came out today. Awesome. To it, I to oh, uh, yep. <laughs> now, let's get a cold, big of the fast. Now, the next one... I think I might got enough. Is our Mountain Java. Now, this is my favorite cream. I don't know mm -hmm. that cream signal is pretty good. Yeah, that was delicious. But this is like a Colombian coffee with a little cream and sugar in it. Now, I put two shots of this in my wife's coffee every morning. Nice. So she could drive me to work. That's all I have. Y'all have anything for me? Y'all can put it on the bar. Everything helps. Y'all have a blessed day. Thank you, Thank Toby. You so Appreciate it. Do you need a box or anything? Um, we might. Yeah, we're going to look around a little bit first, and we're going to use those coupons. So we'll definitely recommend you, and our subscribers will know to come to Toby. All right. Thank you. Thank you, sir. All right. Now that we've done our tasting, let's take a look at some of the merchandise. Typically, they switch these out for seasons. It looks like we already have a wintry-looking one here with a classic, I think that's a van on it. And again, with some cars and jeeps and things they're starting to get their long sleeve clothes back out they have a lot of great stuff in here here it looks like they have some um, merchandise that is specifically red in color definitely some great looking stuff with some coffee mugs and some shot glasses that would be great for that mountain java and of course they don't just have moonshine and t-shirts they also have some chow chow and other things like condiment style things and we've never actually tried any of these but other people have told us that they are delicious and they also have some um other merchandise that's like signage and things like that i really like this sign i may have to get this and i think seth has found him a sign as well <laughs> that's pretty big that's really cool it looks like the end of a barrel and one of my favorites, the Moonshine Pickles. They don't leave that out with the merchandise. If you want something specific to that um, food, Moonshine food, then you can get a t-shirt dedicated to it here. And for the ladies and lovers of pink, <laughs> they did not leave us out. They even have some pink, old, smoky, kind of uh, granite type of mugs here. And a shirt to match. And they are getting some new merchandise out right now, but on a typical day, you can walk over here and read some about the moonshine making process, just like the one in Gatlinburg. This one isn't necessarily as um, walkthrough friendly. It's just more of a um, walk up and observe kind of a deal, but you can still learn a little bit about the moonshine process. So I think we are also going to get some moonshine. We're running a little low on our stock. So I definitely know I'm going to be getting some of that orange cream sickle that came out today that he let us try. So let's see what we can find. And guys, don't forget to walk right up to some of the moonshine jars. They do have some recipe cards for some of the specific types of moonshine. So take a couple of these with you to make it home. So first up is the sour resin. And can't forget the orange cream sickle. And our last jar or bottle is going to be the amaretto whiskey because it is included with the deal. Yep. 
So when you check out, don't forget your coupons that you got from your tasting. All right, guys, we hope you enjoyed this tour, tasting, and review of the Old Smoky Moonshine location here in the island. Um, we love coming to this location, even though we've done the tasting several mm -hmm. times. We do it every trip, and I think every trip we got to taste something new. Even today, we got yeah. to taste something that was brand new, and we ended up buying three jars of it. So, yep. yeah, yeah, <laughs> um, it, it was just great. Yeah. It's like, like you're saying, it's awesome that it seems like almost every time we come, Different there's experience. something, yeah, mm -hmm. and there's something new that they've come out with, yeah, a new flavor or something. So, we definitely encourage you guys to visit this location as well as check out our old video for the Gatlinburg location. Mm -hmm. Visit all of them and see maybe which one is your favorite, which tasting, which um, bartender was the most personable for you. Um, and kind of let us know in the comments. Let us know what you thought of this video if you've ever visited one of these locations. And please don't forget to subscribe to the channel. So, until next time, we, we hope, hope to see you on the, the next, next adventure. adventure. Bye.